I do thank you for joining me in these devotionals. Uh, we are in Psalm 41. Today we will look at verse 4 in just a moment. Uh, but first, as we always need the Lord's help, let's, let's start with prayer. God, we turn to you. You are our trust. You are our strength. You are our joy. You are our hope, our life, all because of your kindness to us in Christ. Please speak to our minds and our hearts. Holy Spirit, be released in us to guide us, to direct, direct us, to comfort us. And make your word come alive to us, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In Psalm 41, David is acknowledging very early on how God is the one that takes care of his life. God is the source of his life. God is his caregiver. And he continues on here in verse 4 of Psalm 41 when he says, As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. We must remember, maybe we need to hear for the first time, that God's grace is the foundation of everything we know and enjoy and experience in a relationship with Him. God's grace is always before anything else. Our effort, our exertion, our work, um, our intentions, none of these get us to God. There's a barrier that exists between us and God. And as David says here, I have sinned against you. His sin created a barrier between God who is absolutely holy and can be intolerable of anything that is not perfect like himself. David acknowledges that he has sinned against God. And he asks that God would heal that sin. If we go back, I've sinned against you. Heal me. And the healing, the means of God's healing and the work of God's healing comes by God's grace. God's unearned, undeserved, unrelenting goodness and favor toward us. There's an acronym, G-R-A-C-E, that has sometimes been spelled out as God's riches at Christ's expense. God has to do something for us before we can be reunited and restored to a relationship with God. God's grace. God's grace before anything else. This is Holy Week. It's a week uh, uh, whereby we lead to Good Friday or the day that Christ was crucified for the sins of the world, and then Easter Sunday, Sunday when he arose from the dead, victorious and triumphant forever. All of who Christ is and what Christ did is the expression of God's grace, God doing for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Until we acknowledge, accept, admit that we bring nothing to the table except our broken fallenness, and that it is God and God alone who does it. By God's grace, we cannot know Jesus the way we, we are supposed to. Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, For it is by grace through faith. Grace first, our response of faith. This, not of works, that it's not of us, lest any of us boast. We are not to be those that are braggarts, but those that are humble and grateful before God. David knows this. David prays this, though Lord be gracious to me, heal me, for I have sinned against you. God's grace before anything else. May the Lord be with you and touch your heart with this truth and set you free. I'll see you again next time.